Explain like I'm five. Why does spicy food burn your butt but not your urethra? Even if you eat like a spicy soup. If you manage to get something spicy up there, it would definitely burn. But, as to why it doesn't generally, urine is water and waste products that your kidneys filter out of your blood. The irritating chemicals in spicy foods never made it into your blood. So never make it into your urine. Instead, they stay in your gastrointestinal tract until they're pooped out. Just me who's eaten food so spicy that your piss tingles for the next few hours. I love a good bit of heat and it's only happened this one time when the dish was melt your face off. Spicy but yeah pissing definitely had a tingle for a while. You poop out what's left of what you eat. Your butthole and your mouth are part of one big tube with a lot of twists and turns in it where Food has nutrients sucked out of it and what's left is turned into poop. Your pee doesn't come from this system. It comes from your blood. Your kidneys filter your blood. And the water your kidneys pull out of your blood gets peed out of you. So your butthole burns because the spicy chemicals that came in have to come out. They don't get in your blood so when you pee later, you don't have spicy pee. If you are eating spicy enough, it does, only has happened a couple times and I routinely eat super hose. But when it happens you'll know it. As someone who regularly eats Carolina Reaper sauce with their food, it does, you're just not having enough. Why does spicy food not burn my butt? I love spicy food. Never had this problem. I thought my husband was a freak for complaining about it. But the internet says this is a real thing. Finally my username can back up a statement. It is 100 possible to have burning pee from spicy food. But you have to climb the Scoville ladder up more than Sriracha. If your pee isn't burning, you haven't eaten something spicy enough. It will burn when you pee if your food has enough spice to it. Sauce have eaten an entire Carolina Reaper pepper, as well as hot sauces with capsaicin extract, have had burning pee from it. Urine comes from kidneys filtering water out of your blood. There's no capsaicin in your blood. There's plenty of it in your gut after eating spicy food. Not sure the exact biochemistry behind it but if you eat a pound of spicy pepperoni sticks and drink two liters of pineapple juice at the same time I assure you that it will burn when you pee. Strangely enough I've never had spicy things burn on the way out. Ever. And I've done many hottest wing sauce challenges at restaurants. All the stuff that comes out in pee dissolves in water well generally. I hope you never have a kidney stone. Everything that can't be dissolved or absorbed by our body goes out as solid waste. Spicy stuff doesn't dissolve in water. Because poop is formed by the leftovers from food. Bile and mucus after all the good stuff is removed. Piss is formed more actively. About 50 gallons of very dilute water is filtered from your kidneys. Nearly all of it is resorbed. Specially cells grab all the stuff your body wants to keep such as sodium and vitamin C and sends those back to the blood. Also the body never absorbs the capsaicin from hot foods as it's not a nutrient so it says in the intestines. The kidneys don't have access to it since it's not in the blood. I eat a lot of spicy food. So it always burns when I pee. Even if it's been a while I always have a burning sensation when I pee. But what are you going to do I really love my hot sauce. Your urethra is connected to your bladder which is filled by the kidneys. It isn't directly connected to the digestive system. Poop is the undigested bits and comes directly from what you eat. 
The reason you have to pee more if you drink a lot of water is your kidneys will try to balance out the salinity levels in your blood which becomes diluted after your digestive system absorbs the water. You ever tried the pack? One chip challenge. I promise you. Your urethra burns after that. Your mouth and your butt are two ends of the same tube so the spicy parts. Capsaicin. Can make it all the way from the entry through the exit. Your urethra is connected to your bladder which is filled by your kidneys from water in your blood which was absorbed from the contents of your food tube. Primarily in the intestines. The capsaicin does not make it through that process because it's not water soluble. Because your poop has the capsaicin being excreted while your urine doesn't have that molecule in. It because it was filtered out left in your poop. The hottest food I've ever eaten was in a Mexican restaurant in Delhi. They actually spiced it up so even Indians would feel the heat. This Gora can normally keep up with his Indian friends in spicy food. But. God damn. A bidet is the answer to a burning a hole. Like a fire hose to put out the fire. Best 40 bucks I ever spent. Because and most people don't know this urine comes from your blood not your digestive system. Like solid waste. I think the biggest thing people fail to understand is that what comes out of your butt never really went into your body. From your mouth to your anus is essentially a tunnel going through. So it isn't inside your body. It's outside of it. You're absorbing what's usable but the garbage never really goes in. Your body has no use for that fire. Then it's coming out the other end. Enjoy it both times. Also why you poop corn or peanuts. And can swallow something not food and poop it out. It never goes in. I love spicy food but if this was a side effect I would never touch it after the first time. Poop is undigested or partly digested food plus millions of mostly dead intestinal flora. Capsaicin is hard to digest so there's still some left to poop out and hurt your anus. Pee is stuff that your kidneys filter out of your bloodstream. With a very few exceptions like asparagus. Food that you eat isn't going to have recognizable representation in your urine. As what your intestines absorb into your blood is mostly tiny building blocks. Capsaicin which is an oil. Can go all the way through the, the intestines. If it's absorbed into the blood at all I'm not sure how absorption itself works your liver and. Kidneys filter out most things the body can use and gets rid of what is ultimately urine. Pee isn't a direct waste product of your digestive system. It's a product of your kidneys filtering out toxins and excess water. Spicy poops happen because of undigested capsaicin in the food you eat. Poop is what's left of food after digestion. So any capsaicin's lurt might still burn. Urine is water and waste what is filtered out of your blood. Only things that linger on blood may pass that way. So asparagus gives a sulfuric smell to pee because it's still in urine. Also you need nerves to feel burn. Your mouth is one end of your digestive tract. Your butt is the other. By default. Stuff that goes in your mouth comes out your butt. Stuff that ends up in your urine is filtered out of your blood by your kidneys. It burns your butt. I'm brown. I think I've become immune to that sensation. Try the one chip challenge. Everything will be burning for hours. My tears burned my face. My piss burned my urethra. It was almost like a salvia high beyond the sheer pain. Capsaicin is not very water soluble so doesn't pass into urine easily. It is however alcohol soluble. So drink enough and you'll feel more of a burn.